Section 9.5, geometric series. The objective of this section, to define geometric series and find their sums. Lesson vocabulary, geometric series, converge, diverge. An essential understanding. Just as with finite arithmetic series, you can find the sum of a finite geometric series using a formula. You need to know the first term, the number of terms, and the common ratio. You can write any whole number that has the same digit in every place as the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. For example, 4,444 equals 4 times 10 to the 0, note that would provide the 4 in the 1's place, plus 4 times 10 to the 1st power, providing us the 4 in the tens place, plus 4 times 10 squared, the hundreds place, plus 4 times 10 to the third power, the thousands place. You can write any rational number as an infinite repeating decimal. For example, 47 over 90 equals 0 0.5222, etc. Therefore, you can write any rational number as a number plus the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. Uh, take note below, this really combines the previous two concepts on this page. Uh, the number 0 0.5222 indefinitely is equivalent to 0 0.5 plus 2 times 1 tenth squared plus 2 times 1 tenth to the third power, plus 2 times 1 tenth to the fourth power, and so on, indefinitely. A geometric series is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. And for your notes, a key concept, the sum of a finite geometric series. The sum, S sub n, of a finite geometric series, which can be written a sub 1 plus a sub 1 times our common ratio r plus a sub 1 times r squared plus etc. all the way through a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 where r cannot equal 1 I think just for a moment if our common ratio is 1 how uninteresting that geometric series is is s sub n equals a sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r to the n power over 1 minus r. Definitely get that in your notes. Where a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms in the series. Example problem 1. Finding the sums of finite geometric series. What is the sum of the finite geometric series 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus, skip a few, plus 3072. So we need to know the first term, we need to know the common ratio, and we need to know how many terms are in the series. And right away I think we can all agree uh, the easiest two things to find here will be our first term, a sub 1, which of course equals 3, and our common ratio. which is 2. Determining n takes just a little more work, but it can be done using the explicit formula uh, a sub n equals the first term a sub 1 times the common ratio raised to the n minus 1 power. This should look familiar from a couple of sections back. Uh, a sub n, our final term in the series, we know is 3072. So that will equal our first term, which we've identified as 3, times our common ratio, we know that's 2, raised to the n minus 1 power. So remember our goal here is to solve for n, so it looks as though we should uh, divide both sides of the equation by 3. Three thousand seventy-two. 3 goes into 3,000 1,000 times, it goes into 72, 
24 times. Let me double check my work. Matches up equals 2 to the n minus 1 power. We have a couple options here. We could use some sort of um, algebra utility to solve for n. We can apply a logarithm to both sides. That could be good review in order to solve for n. Or we can think about 2 to the what power equals 1024. And it so happens that that is 2 to the 10th power. Therefore, if n minus 1 equals 10, we know that n must equal 11. So our 11th term is 3072. Our n value is therefore 11. All right, so I'd consider that uh, part one as being done. We found n, we've identified r and a sub 1. Now we're ready to move on to the sum formula that was newly taught in this section. And that, recall, is s sub n. Definitely should be in your notes. s sub n will equal a sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r to the n power over 1 minus r. Now we have all the components to substitute in. So this will equal 3 times 1 minus 2 raised to the 11th power over 1 minus 2. Continuing to simplify, 1 minus 2 to the 11th power times 3, uh, some quick work on a calculator. Or, I just recalled knowing 2 to the 10th power is 1024, would mean 2 to the 11th power is just 2 times that. So I can rewrite this as 3 times 1 minus 1024 times 2, 2048. Over negative 1, which now equals, um, now I'll get the calculator out. So this equals negative 6141 over negative 1, and that, of course, is 6,141, the sum of our geometric series. I quick double check, and we're good. And part B, we're asked to do the same thing. Find the sum of, well, this series written in summation notation, otherwise known as sigma notation. Well, we will still need to know the same three components to use our sum formula. We'll need a sub 1, we will need our common ratio, and we will need our n value. Thankfully, we can extract those pretty easily from our summation notation. a sub 1, well, be careful. A very common mistake would be to substitute 1 in right away to find a sub 1. Notice our lower limit, though, in this case, is 0, so that will provide for us our first term when we substitute 0 into the explicit formula. So note 1 half to the 0 power is 1, and 1 times 4 is 4. Our common ratio we can extract, that's going to be the value in parentheses there that's raised to the power of n, so 1 half, and our n value. Well, remember n is the number of terms in the series, and that can be found not by simply looking at the upper limit, that's 20, but by subtracting the lower limit from the upper limit and adding 1. Another common and easy mistake to make. So consider 20 minus 0, that's 20, plus 1. 21. So now we have the three components to substitute into our sum formula, which equals, well, s sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus our common ratio, 1 minus r, raised to the n power over 1 minus r. A quick double check to make sure I have this copied down correctly, and you should always check against your notes. Sub n, a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n. Ooh, I was close, but I did make a mistake. Note, kind of a silly mistake. 
but an easy mistake to make. Only the r gets raised to the nth power here, and that, that makes really good sense. Uh, over 1 minus r, looking good. Substituting in our values, well, we're going to have s sub 21 equals our first term, 4, times 1 minus our common ratio 1 half, raised to the nth power, again 21, all over 1 minus 1 half. And I'm going to assume that I am quite capable of using my calculator to find a solution of approximately 8. So the sum of this series is approximately 8. And your first of two chances to show that you have got it. Question 1 of 2. What is the sum of the finite geometric series negative 15 plus 30 minus 60 plus 120 minus 240 plus 480? Now, a good technique would be to use the sum formula and a backup technique to check yourself before, well never mind, would be to actually sum these on your calculator to make sure you have the correct answer. Work carefully and make your selection from the choices below. And got it question one of two again. Hold the phone. There we go, that's better. Question two of two. What is the sum of the finite geometric series shown here? Work carefully and make your selection from the choices below.